Hey everybody, happy Sunday. I know it's late in the afternoon, but I actually had to go to the office this morning. Uh, so when I got back, I was like, okay, I gotta get something done. I was gonna wait till tomorrow, but I'm so used to doing it on Sunday. I said, I gotta throw something together. I was trying to convince my wife to do it, but uh, she said she wouldn't be ready in time. So, <laughs> So hopefully she'll, she said she would join me next week. She's kind of excited uh, about it. But today I do have a guest. I have Ellen Hoyle with me and you guys in the Let's Hit community would know who she is. What are some of the books you've written, Ellen? Um, actually, I just did a live reading before, so I actually have them handy. Oh, so okay. This one, which is uh, Safe Haven. I don't know if you can see it. There you go. Yes, I can see it now. It said the yeah. weird... The weird uh, Zoom. Yeah, and then this one is uh, coming out as of tomorrow, actually. It's Traumatic Love. Oh, excellent. Talk It'll about be available pricing. on Amazon tomorrow. Okay, good. Excellent. I wish you good yeah. luck with it. Thank you. Okay, excellent. So what's the book about, the new book about? The new book is about uh, two women who are, grew up in domestic violence um, situations. Oh. Uh, one was an emotional abuse and one was a physical abuse. One um, mother died and left her alone with her abusers. And so she grew up in the situation of a lot of emotional abuse. Mm -hmm. The other one, her mother got her out after she was about 12 or so. She got out of the situation. So it's looking at how it affects both of them as adults okay. and how it then affects them as a relationship. Okay. That sounds interesting. It sounds like a yeah. lot of angst too. Yeah, there was, there was a lot of angst. I broke There's them nothing up wrong with that. four or five times. There's nothing wrong with that. I, I write it myself when, when I'm in the mood too. In fact, I think yeah. people tell me a lot of my books are a little bit too heavy. Yeah. So yeah. So yeah. Okay. Well, good luck yeah. with it. Thank you. So, okay. So good luck with you today that you survived. I know, right? Because <laughs> like we just talked before, guys, I didn't bring, I didn't get any milk or anything with me because I don't think I'm going to need it today. But I, on my, on the side over here, besides my desk, I have a little microwave and a refrigerator um, where I have uh, almond milk like on top along with some other hot sauces. So it's over there tucked in the <laughs> corner if I should need it. So if you see me zoom off screen, that's what I'm doing. But I don't think I'm going to need it for this one. Okay, today's hot sauce, as I showed you last week, it's a torchbearer hot sauce. It's called Zombie Apocalypse. As you can see, brains and weird looking men. Yeah, very scary. You know, yeah. Yeah, kind of like what's going on right now. I thought that was very mm. apropos. Um, hopefully that doesn't come to fruition. Let's, 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 let's pray. That it yeah. So, um, but this one is going to be interesting. Um, it has ghost peppers. It has habaneros. It, ha it has carrots and mandarin oranges. Because at yeah. first, I know me and Serena were talking about it. She was like, oh, does it have mustard in it? I was like, I don't know. I don't see it. But the oranges and the carrots give it its color. Yeah. Plus, so I, would, I would imagine they would add a bit of sweetness to it. Yes, I know this one I'm excited. So since it's just ghost pepper and habaneros, I don't foresee me needing anything yeah. to drink because that's the usual stuff that I put yeah, on my food every day. What level is ghost pepper? It's, um, it used to be one of the hottest peppers in the world yeah. before the reaper came along. Yeah. So, so yeah. So actually next week I am going to do a ghost reaper hot sauce. Everybody, I hope you can see oh, that'll that. that'll be exciting. It's called AKA Miso ghost reaper sauce. And I don't know if you can see the little flames at the bottom there. Oh yeah. It's got a full line of flame and it Six says- Six flame uh, reading. Yeah, yeah. It says extremely spicy. We shall see. We shall mm -hmm. see. So, but uh, it says miso. So it has miso in it. It has ghost peppers, reapers, rice wine vinegar, miso, uh, sesame oil, and some other stuff. So this this should taste Probably really good. good for Asian food. Yeah, this one. I, I, I think nice it stir fry. Really good. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, okay. So I'm gonna get started. I'm kind of excited because I think this is going to taste really good because just the way it looks. 
So oh, let me check it up again here. Unfortunately, guys, I ran out of clear plastic spoons. So you guys are going to have to deal with this one today. I'm sorry. I'll do my best to show you how much I have on the spoon. I'm going to pour it just like this. This one, oh, what the heck going on here? Oh, there it is. I just got some, as you can see, I got All some on you. my shirt. <laughs> so, but that's okay. All right. As long as it doesn't start eating through the shirt. I know, right? This is nice and thick. That is thick. It's, I don't know, can you see that? Yeah, yeah it's, it's nice and thick. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that or it's just because it's just been kind of sitting here for a while. It's not uh, spoiled or anything. I just opened it, but it's a nice thick sauce. You can see like the carrots and stuff. The like, bits you can of see, carrots? Yeah, yeah, it's kind of, uh, uh, you can see it's kind of chunky. Huh. So I, that's always a good thing. I like a, a, a sauce with some, you know, a little oomph to it, so to speak. Yeah. So. Okay, so I'm excited about this one. All right, let's go. Yeah. Let's, let's see. Whew, okay. Can you taste the Mandarin? On the end. Yeah. It's a, it starts off with heat. It is very, it, it is kind of chunky. It's not very smooth at all, which is okay. Yeah. You taste the sweetness on the end. It starts... Yeah, it has some good heat to it. It really oh, does. There you go. Yeah. And I like how, like, it's thick enough to where it coats your tongue a little bit as you're eating. Yeah. So I, I like that. I, sometimes I like a good smooth sauce. That would be nice then to coat whatever you're cooking it with. Yes, I was going to say that. It could probably be a good marinade and stuff, too. Yeah. Because it has some of the other stuff. It's hot, but it's not like, whoo, you know, yeah. kill me hot. So Breaking out in a sweat, clearing the sinuses, kind of. It clears your sinuses a little bit, but yeah. it's, it's you can take it. I think the average person could probably take it, you know, that's eaten okay. hot sauces before. I wouldn't uh, encourage somebody who's not used to heat to eat yep. it but it's got a good heat to it i do wish it had a little bit more of a citrus flavor to it because you can taste it at the end yeah yeah but it so, would be nice to have it throughout yes it would it's very much and maybe if i shook it up some more maybe i would get that hmm. you want to try yeah. okay Okay, since this one's not that hot, everybody, I could probably do another little dollop without the debilitating stomach cramps I've talked about before. It's still you do get checked for. I was gonna say you do get checked for ulcers every once in a while, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Okay. Oh. Now you can taste it. I did it. need to shake it up a little bit more. Yeah. Okay. It's bright. It's got some bright flavors to it. You can really taste the citrus now. And it's like, it blends well with the heat. So if anybody ever gets this, make sure you shake it up really well so you can get all the flavors and everything. But for heat, I would give it a seven. For mm -hmm. taste, I would give it a maybe an eight, 8.5. It will be good. This would be good, like uh, because of the oranges. This would be like a, a good breakfast uh, hot sauce. Yeah. Like uh, I use, um, I like waffles, and I, mm -hmm. there's a Reaper hot sauce that I use that has black cherries in it. Oh yeah, I put on top of a waffle sometimes. So this would be a good one to like um, maybe mix with uh, things of that nature. See, or, I was thinking, I was thinking chicken. I was going to say that, too. I was going to yeah. say that, too. This will also, guys, be a good chicken marinade, too. I, I think you, if you let it mm -hmm. just sit, maybe put it in a bag in the refrigerator for, you know, a few, uh, like several hours, I think it will make some incredible flavor. Maybe add a few, uh, a little bit more garlic or something to it mm -hmm. to uh, give it a nice punch. But 
it does have good flavors and I like the citrus in it. Sounds delicious. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty good, I have to say. So this is one of the better tasting ones I've had lately because I have been kind of uh, lucking out on the taste department, you know. Yeah. So, so okay, this was, again, Torchbearer's Zombie Apocalypse. See? It's pretty good. It's pretty good, I have to say. And again, next week is going to be A.K. Miso, Ghost Reaper. So I'm excited mm -hmm. about this one because it has ghost peppers and reapers in it. And it's got more of an Asian flair to it. So I think it should be really good. I'm looking forward to it. Sounds good. Okay, okay so I'll see everybody next Sunday. Thank yep. you, Ellen, for joining me at the oh, last minute. It's my minute. pleasure. <laughs> so yeah, I put everybody, I put a call out on uh, Facebook and she was the first one to answer it. And like, it wasn't even five minutes. So I was like, oh, cool. <laughs> I had just finished my uh, Facebook Live thing, so I was like, I'm here. I'm already excellent. here to do excellent. video. Excellent. So, yeah, when I get done, I'm going to go take this shirt off. Now that I have a big orange stain right in the middle of it. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of this shirt, everybody. <laughs> so I'll see you next Sunday. Thank you again, yeah. Ellen. Good luck with the book. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. No problem. Okay, stop. Real